coming from somewhere. Where are they? I don't know. But the spot, uh, stalkers are going to be coming in here, blinking down from this cliff and going to be able to get a lot of pot shots off on those uh, spine crawlers. And now lots of Zerglings trying to surround, as well as these muters coming along. A nice use of that observer going to be blinking back up onto the high ground just to negate a lot of the damage from those Zerglings. And now the muters are going to be trying to come around here, but stalkers are going to be able to intercept them. And uh, these spine crawlers still looking very, very shady. Ah, they were walking away from the cr across the map. Uh, <laughs> that must have taken them a hell of a long time. And now Smunk's going to be taking his uh, natural expansion like he was supposed to do. Uh, but at the same time, White Rat is going to be able to try and take this base here with these rocks. Taking out that Zergling maybe, the Zergling does see that this is going on. So he's going to know exactly what White Rat is doing. And now the stock is blinking in a really strange direction. They got themselves caught a little bit there. And now Mute is going to be flying into the natural. Photon cannons are going down, almost finished. And a lot of gateways now going down in the back of the base for White Rat. So he's going to be able to reinforce pretty soon with a massive, massive amount of units. We do have plus two weapons on the way for White Rat, as well as more observers, in order to be able to aid the stalker blinking in uh, during the late stages of this game. And uh, DT Shrine going down as well for White Rat. So he's going to be trying to do some poking action. And uh, this is not seen yet by Smunk. So he's going to have to prepare for that pretty well. Well, he does have layer up, uh, but he doesn't actually have any ob overseers on the uh, map, I don't think. No, no overseers just yet. So if he can get some good hits off with DTs in the right position, then uh, White Rat is going to be in a very, very good spot. So now all these Mutalisks and Zerglings are going to be trying to swing around here for a bit more harassment, getting some good bounces off on these probes here using this assimilator. Uh, but these are going to be fended off by a lone three Stalkers. and uh, But so many Stalkers here for White Rat. Plus two weapons is halfway complete. That Nexus is going down at the second natural for White Rat and picking off that assimilator as well as another probe, which is quite big at this point. And they're uh, going to be trying to pick off this gateway as well. But at the same time, we did have a few Zerglings trying to run around to this base here. But it was noticed by White Ra, as he does have an Observer in a really good spot here. Did notice the Zerglings running past through there. And uh, <clears throat> now, Smung, in a bit of an odd position, what does he do? Does he like try to establish an even greater economy? Or does he just keep harassing? I would say that he really needs to establish quite a decent economy here in order to be able to contend with this mass blink stalker play of White Ra, as White Ra uh, has just pulled himself time and time again back into this game despite any kind of adversity and like harassment that has gone on the proxy hatchery into Mutalisk into Banelings and Zerglings it's just very very crazy indeed so now we do have DTs going to be moving across the map and uh, going to be moving into the mains and naturals of Smung and looking at the production tab here we do have Hive on the way as well as plus two melee weapons on the way for uh, Smung but at the same time we don't have anything morphing in we need an observer morphing in Overseer even Ov Overseer is now morphing in but these DTs are going to be able to do a lot of damage nice fungal growth there preventing the uh, invisible unit from actually doing as much as he would like to another fungal growth and a second fungal growth really nice use of fungal there going to be able to reveal those invisible units and does indeed clean them up pretty well we do have another Dark Templar here, though, running in, and a Spore Crawler going down as well. Going to be able to pick off one or two drones here. Going to be targeting the Queen, though, and that Queen may go down. Uh, no, he's just going to be coming back here to kill some more drones, but a Fungal Growth going off once again, and uh, trying to reveal that, but he really needs another Fungal, and he doesn't have energy for the Fungal, but the f Spore Crawler does go down, uh, so... He's going to be able to kill it off pretty easily. He does surround. Uh, and, uh, oh, he needs to fungal growth. He doesn't have any spore crawlers in the main. Whereas the overseer, it's there. But he's still killing pr uh, drones. And ultimately, this is this DT has got 10 kills. Even though he's been spotted for quite a while. 12 kills now. 13 kills. Just racking up those kills. And Smung is doing nothing about it. He needs the overseer over here. Uh, and now, though, at the same time, this DT has seen the hive. So that is really really important going into the late stages of this game for White Rat. He knows that Hive Tech can come at any moment. He is trying to grab his fourth and ultimately these Blink Stalkers have been the saviour of White Rat throughout this entire game. Dashed with a little bit of DT play. So now plus three weapons on the way for White Rat and uh, at this point I'm really not sure what is going on for Smunk. He is getting this uh, high ugh, great Aspire and that's going to stand him in really good stead going on into the late stages. Um, 
But you do have another DT, though, traversing the map. He's going to be going up to this top expansion here, so I wasn't aware that Ducklode Ra actually knew about this. He doesn't know about it, but he's, his game sense is tingling, as it were, his spider sense, and uh, he's going to be coming up here and trying to pick this off as quickly as possible. We do have a spore crawler and a spine crawler going up here, so that actually is enough to deal with this harass, but if he can take down uh, the spore crawler or anything like that, he's going to be in a good position. Uh, the queen is now poking away at it, but he's going to get drone kills even though the the spore crawler has finished, and he's just waiting for the spine crawler to finish now. We do have a high a Templar archives now on the way for White Ra, and ultimately, if White Ra can get Storm out, that is going to be so big as Storm just absolutely rips through Zerglings, Mutas, and Banelings. So that. DT does go down, and a second spine crawler is on the way, as this spine crawler is very heavily injured. And uh, more DT is going to be moving across the map in order to try and harass that. We do have a Zergling coming in here, poking around, just seeing that this expansion has complete. But at the same time, more infestors coming out for Smung, and these DTs are going to be coming up here. But I'm thinking that they're going to be picked off, as there is quite a lot of defense here, and indeed do get surrounded and taken out. So, more Muta Harass going on here, killing that cannon for the billionth time. I'm going to be actually able to kill a pylon as well as a gateway, maybe. Uh, underpowering that, though, so it's going to be interesting to see if indeed he is going to be repowering that. And uh, plus three weapons has almost finished. Psionic Storm is halfway done. Where is that Templar Archives? It's here somewhere. I know it for a fact. Yes, it is. He has warped in a few DT... Uh, high Templars here, so he, once he does get enough energy for the storm, that is going to absolutely rip through these units, and especially feed back on these investors. If he had enough DTs, he could feed back them all in a flurry of feedback, and just really cause a lot of damage, but oh my god, Broodlords are now on the way for Smung, and he is taking an even another expansion up in the north. We do have plus one armor on the way for White Rat, as well as a Zealot Charge. So now, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Cannons up here in order to be able to protect this base. Throwing down another pylon. No doubt to throw some cannons in the back of the base. And uh, it looks like Smunk here going to be ready to launch an assault. He has a pretty menacing force here. But White Ra almost maxed while Smunk is 25 supply behind him. We do have two Archons morphing in. And I absolutely love Archons. Especially since they do bonus damage to every single unit on the uh, of the Zerg force. Uh, so they are fantastic with plus three weapons as you all well know if you do watch my casts I love Archons so now the Broodlord's going to be coming here going to be able to do a bit of harass plus three weapons for melee on the way for Smung so this Broodlord transition is really nice as you can see these Broodlords these Broodlings do have the weapons upgrades for the melee 32 Zerglings on the way and uh, ultimately these Broodlings are going to be causing so much pain and hassle for White Rat. He really needs to be able to do something about these Broodlords. Oh my god, seven Broodlords out now for Smunk, and they're going to be able to pick off a lot here, especially with these enforcing units. And uh, so double Stargate now on the way. And oh my god, feedback going off on those units there. Massive feedbacks. And this, this is a really scary ball here from White Rat. He is going to be pushing in and uh, taking out a lot of these units, and now feedback on all those infestors blinking in here, going to be taking out a lot of these broodlords, and now a lot of these zerglings are going to be just running into their deaths. These archons just do so much damage against the zerglings, and the zealots are just helping out in turn, and now morphing a few of these high templars into archons, and that was ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. He defended so well against that and didn't lose much at all. And now Smung is pretty angry at something, uh, injecting, no doubt, because he has to inject at five hatcheries, so that's a bit crazy for him. And now this Archon just going to be pushing out here, and Zerglings cannot deal with Archons, ladies and gents, as the splash damage is just too much. And <laughs> uh, White Ra here just clawing his way back into this. He is getting a few Void Rays out. Where are these... Uh, Stargates. We do have a lot of gateways here not turned into warp gates and the Stargates are somewhere indeed in the back of this third here so he's going to be able to deal with Broodlords effectively if they, a lot more do come out. At the same time the White Ra's economy is booming ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to this uh, income tab. Oh but at the same time so is Smungs. It's really going pretty damn well uh, for both players here. Plus three weapons for the uh, 
melee units of the Zerg are almost finished and you just have two plus two carapace on the way but at the same time immortals on the way and shield upgrades coming out as well as um, the ultralisk den four ultralisk cavern even four smung so he's going to be trying to rip through these units but at the same time I don't think ultralisks are too good a choice against this uh, as the stalker blink can just separate all those units quite well and they won't be able to get enough cleave off at all plus the archons are just so resilient against pretty much everything especially when they do have shield upgrades and now oh huge storms going off there weakening a lot of those zerglings and banelings and now going to be pushing through as just a dominating force here of white ra uh, we do have ultralisks on the way as well as uh ventral sacks in order to be able to do some kind of drop play maybe he's going to be wanting to drop some banelings on them but white ra at this point just pushing through with this absolutely dominating force v uh, shields plus one has finished for the protoss force and now he's just got such a good death ball here uh, kind of subsidizing the uh, Colossus for Archons and Archons are just so good 30 kills on this Archon pretty much and let's have a look at the other Archons 20 kills on one of those Archons and now Ultralisks though are going to be popping out pretty soon leaving these Archons in here just to do rip through these drones and now the uh, Ultralisks have popped out going to be smacking away at these Ultralisks but at the same time going to be taking out this base here and uh, denying that pretty sufficiently White Ra here and uh, Ultralisks and Zergling is now going to be trying to swing around in order to do some damage. We do have DTs warping in though I can't see where they are at all. We do have a few Stalkers up in the top corner going to be taking out this base pretty efficiently and now a massive engagement could potentially happen here loading up all these units oh my god what is he going to do with these? He could get a nice... Uh, <laughs> oh, he is going to be able to drop those, though. And uh, at the same time, though, that's really not a good idea. A lot of DTs here, and there is just no Overseer. So he's going to be able to actually push in and smung GGs. Oh, my God. So that is the end of that game, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more games like this I suggest watching White Ra's stream every time it goes up because it is absolutely fantastic and he's there to please the crowd so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this cast um, if you haven't then please leave some feedback and I will see you guys next time bye for now